Hey team, walking us through the top conversion paths report in Google Analytics. You can find us under conversions and multi-channel funnels. Um, and as always, I'm using the Google uh, demo account. You can always Google, Google Analytics demo account, and you'll get free access to it. You can look at the same data I, I am. I'm looking at uh, June 16th, to July 15th of 2017. Um, now, the interesting part about this report is that it's like magical for people who haven't dipped into it before. If you're a pro, this might not be for you, but you know, maybe listen for a couple of things that I look to do. Um, immediately coming in here, uh, people will be blown away by like this whole conversion path thing we got down here. Like this table just makes people go crazy um, because they never know to dip down into these uh, these like lesser known tabs of like attribution, multi-channel funnels, and all that good stuff. Uh, so right off the bat. What I always do is I check the conversion, and in this case, uh, it's pre-selected as e-commerce only, so we're only looking at transactions. I don't know if that's the default. I was just poking around this account, and I kind of unchecked these goals. So always make sure you turn off things like smart goals because they're just gonna make you go crazy. Like they have nothing to do with transactions. Next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm choosing either path linked, path linked two or more, or path link all. Uh, because I want to look at either all of the transactions or just some of them. Uh, in many cases, I think looking at two or more is good, and that's purely because of attribution issues. A huge percent of people will look on other devices and come back or have cleared their cookies or something. There, maybe their spouse makes the decision, uh, and that's why a lot of them aren't captured. So we're going to look at two or more as a path length. And then right off the bat, I'm not a fan of this channel grouping path, uh, but what it's telling us essentially is that 219 transactions during this time period uh, were free people from people coming from uh, through a referral channel and then directly back to the site before they converted. Uh, and this direct is the last chance, or I'm sorry, the last uh, channel they came from. So what we're looking at here is, of course, everything that was more than two uh, referrals or uh, channels that drove them here, but it's still not very useful. Uh, these referrals especially could be anything. It could be referrals from subdomains where you aren't tracking, like using your code properly. Uh, could be specific sites. So what I like to do is right off the bat, look at source medium. Uh, and this demo account is largely not pay-per-click. Most accounts will be more heavily pay-per-click. And I'm sure if we looked further down, uh, we could find more of them. Uh, but this is more helpful to me because this tells me that my top conversion path um, with 91 transactions uh, is this referral from Googleplex straight to our site uh, and then back through our site. So um, that's much more helpful to me than just a referral. And you can see right here, this looks like mall.googleplex, mall.googleplex, um, sites.google.com. Um, all of these are different referral sites and if you lump them as channels, they'll just all look like they're coming from referral, which doesn't really help you that much. Um, yeah, I think this path, I think this is great. Um, you can also, uh, add in, um, use this filter to basically say like maybe the source medium contains uh, CPC. So this will show us all of the transactions where CPC was involved in any point. So either first or second or as we go further and further down I'm sure there are quite a few that are much longer strings. Uh, and typically what you'll see is internal traffic um, will end up having like 40 different um, source medium or channels and then they'll book and that's because somebody internally booked on behalf of a customer or something like that. Um, this is a little short. Typically I see a lot longer strings um, but you'll often see a wide variety in terms of the number of different paths. Uh, I'd be shocked with you know 2,000 transactions if, in a month if most people didn't have more than 42 uh, unique variations. So, And of course it depends on the marketing you're doing. If you have a lot of uh, affiliate links out there, you'll probably have a lot more. Um, if you're only doing cost per click uh, traffic and you get a little organic, it'll be much shorter. Um, yeah, you know, it's gonna be unique for you. But uh, those are the keys. So remember to check out path length every time you look. Remember to only select key commerce transactions or if you're doing lead gen, then you can look at lead gen uh, and just select that one goal here. Um, yeah, if you wanna look at the same date range. It's uh, June 16th to July 15th. And of course, let me know if you have any questions about any of this. Um, short little overview, and I'll be going over some of these other reports in the near future.